Poland's focusry is full of insanely strong and fun paths, but there is only one path that gets course on Germany, the Baltics and can get 100% compliance on the whole world incredibly easily. What's up Warsaw? We are going to be playing as Poland and we are going to make Poland strong. Poland's focus tree is amazing. There's not a single dud in here, but I only see people talking about the monarchist paths. I mean, they're amazing and uh, the communist paths are also amazing. I'm not sure why you would ever go down the fascist paths if you could just also go the Cossack King, which I'm not sure why you would ever go on the Cossack King if you can just get Anastasia. The fuck is democratic? I don't want to surrender. Not with Poland, not with me, not today. We are going to start with some basic research. Might as well get some support equipment going. And oh god, I forgot about industry. We are gonna build a few civ factories. Army, very simple. We are just gonna shoot everyone. We're gonna produce a single horse as well as civilian oversight. Navy, might as well stack it up. I'm not gonna take a look at you again this game, Mr. Carol, but at least you're happy now. We have organized the peasant strike and we are gonna invite the front morges. Peasant strike is very simple. We're just gonna ignore it and we're gonna hire Sosnikovsky. One thing that kind of sucks, let's clamp down on Lancer in the meantime. This is our only army staff and he doesn't really like the peasants so we first have to sway him. Uh, that's actually the only decision we're gonna pick and that is a little bit of RNG related to this whole thing. We've clamped down on Danzig. We're gonna do the four-year plan. In the meantime, we're also gonna do unification propaganda once. Ooh, nice one. We only have to woo two generals this time. Bolt attack and the officer corps do one more unification propaganda. We are not gonna join the Comintern. I mean, yeah, we're gonna join the Comintern pact, but we're not gonna join the anti Comintern pact. Peasants are revolting. <laughs> yes, they are. In a few years. Actually, in a few years, the world war is gonna kick off, but in a few years, we're gonna be super ready once we've beaten Germany. There we go. We can pick one more focus, which will be the Gdansk Industries, just to get rid of the embargoed economy. We are also going to get the light tank. Ooh, the basic light tank chassis. What do I have for you in, in store today? Something different. And now we just stack up all of our army, get the horse. Okay. <laughs> I'm not sure what we just lost because I've done this path multiple times. I've never had this happen, but it's fine. We, we don't need the cavalry for the equipment. We just need it for the Cavalry. I also never had Sweden sending me guns. We are playing historical, right? Those guys, they can just walk automatically. But the horse, you just snipe. Gdansk, Gdynia. If I can get War Econ already, then that's also a nice bonus. There we go. Sensational Poland is gone. And we just produce a few more factories here. We've got the same. And now we just get a few more industry focuses going. I'm not going to get any additional research slot. Research slot now because research slots we don't have the industry to make use of them. I'd rather get this additional factory here. We can get a few more factories, which is good. We can get the steel, which is good. But I'm gonna prepare for the next war. It's actually relatively early, but I know a thing or two about history. Honey, how often do you think about the Roman Empire? Not that often, just every couple hours. And that also just reminded me, we're gonna gut this division. Let's turn it into 10 with... That's the base infantry, the crappy infantry. We start producing a few of those. We get some artillery going, we get some AA going. Let's get one steel from the Soviets and one... Tombstone. Right, we have prepared for the next war. We are gonna get the communist funny guy next. I'm gonna get the central defense of Poland now. The infantry production cost is pretty good, but also the land fort construction speed is gonna be very useful. We've got a light tank chassis. We're gonna staple an AA gun on it and just make it as cheap as possible, but we're also gonna add four armor on it. This is a super cheap light tank. Like this thing costs 0.44 more than the Taut AA and actually costs less steel. Uh, trust me, I'm an engineer. It's made of acquired German tanks. We are also gonna get the engineers already. I guess we could get Plan West already. Actually, no, let's invest in Eastern Poland. Wait, can we get the funny guy? Yes, the socialist autocrat. It's a workhorse, but better. I could greet a little bit now with some factories, but also uh, defending against Germany is kind of cringe. I don't know. I guess I'm gonna get the defensive line now. Oh, right, we can also dismiss our fighters. Don't really need seven fighters against the Luftwaffe. They are not gonna hold. Right, infighting in the 
we are gonna stand alone. This part is a little bit weird. You can, there we go. I think the way it works, even if you stand alone, you can join the Soviets until you do Polish path to socialism. Because from my testing, once you do this focus, the Soviets are hostile and you can no longer join the common turn. And we kind of want to join the common turn. Usually I would get the war industrialist, but I started getting some forts down early, so we're not gonna get it today. Instead, I guess we can get the communist rig and multi fan. Once we've done the leftist cabinet, we're just gonna rush down to the Commonwealth of Socialist Republics. There we go, we have engineers too. Now, a bunch of very fun things are happening. Number one, our light SPAA is getting some dozer blades. We're also gonna convert all of you. I'm gonna create the flame tank. Also give you dozer blades. Just stack entrenchment as much as you can and just keep those guys cheap. This is gonna be the pride of the Polish army. I'm honestly gonna deploy all of these guys already. We have to be quick today. Okay, uh, in about half a year, things are gonna kick off. We're still missing... I mean, uh, primarily we're missing divisions in the field, but things are gonna be fun very quickly. Now, with Poland, you can do a bunch of funky things. Number one, you could release Belarus and all that to get a smaller border with Germany. You can just give out Danzig, which honestly is fine. You lose Gdansk and Gdynia. It doesn't hurt, hurt as much as you might think. But I'm a content creator. We content creators have to be interesting or at least attempt to be interesting. Slovakia is gone, which sucks for us, but yeah, have to deal with it, I guess. Oh my God, I'm an idiot. I'm genuinely a fucking idiot. I did a bunch of test runs earlier and I was wondering why the Germans were pushing me so hard because I never called the Soviets in. Yeah, the recon can be removed from this one. I think investing in Eastern Poland has screwed me up here. Something is very strange today and it's not me. Germany is going for Danzig or war. So <laughs> this, is, this is not good. It's fine because we're just gonna do this, this, this. If you're keen, you might have noticed that we don't have any troops on the border, but that's fine because the Soviets have troops on the border and the Soviets have to be very quick because the Germans are coming and I need the Soviets on my border. Smiley face. The front is looking pretty good. Apart from the new front that has opened up, that part genuinely sucks. We haven't actually fought in this, but Lithuania is a core. Okay, Danzig or Wall, you say? Let's deploy just the final divisions that we have. Biggest problem for these divisions, they're just not at all trained. Just wait a bit more. Stalin, please, Stalin, can you hurry up? Okay, Estonia, the Germans are coming in. Latvia is gone, we pass a bit more. And now we call our big daddy Stalin in. And he's immediately attacking. Yes, that's what I want you to do. Ooh, seven divisions. Thank you for your Vladivostok divisions. They're gonna be useful when we have capitulated. For as stupid as the AI is, the forts, that's actually something that they are scared of. Why is Germany pushing so hard on this one tile? Actually, we have a bunch of reserve so we don't really need to send in more divisions. Do we want the Polski Fiat already? I guess we can get it. Oh no! Okay, they have taken a tile. I repeat, they have taken a tile. Because I called the Soviets in, the Germans probably are not gonna declare war on the Allies. Or everybody just joins the common turn. That's also an option. We can also ask the Soviets. They don't want to give us fuel. That's rude. Well, what about Mongolia? Mongolia is usually very nice when it comes to stuff we need. Okay, well, I guess AA. Oh, Jesus. That tumor does not look that great. Oh, come on. We, we can push into Slovakia now. <laughs> I hate mountains. This was so good. So worth it. The only thing that sucks is once Hungary and Romania join, things are gonna get a bit tricky here. We could actually try and snipe Slovakia now that I think about it. I'm not sure it's worth it, but we can do it. There we go. Slovakia is out. I guess we could take Vienna, but if we move more, the, like these units are pretty much dead. So we should fall back here. Just hope that the Soviets are not getting encircled here. Yep, that is one big bummer. Now, uh, Hungary, I have no idea what you're gonna do here. Okay, no, I don't want you to do this. There we go. Da, come on! Stop moving the front like this. There we go. There's a reason I didn't close this up. Yep, I just got these uh, Soviets encircled. I'm gonna see if we can break through here. Let's go! Yes, it's a decent chunk of the Germans. Now the Hungarian front is also looking kind of pathetic. Actually tempted to push. <laughs> 
<laughs> and then get encircled by Romania. I mean, they still have Bessarabia, so should be a while until they join. I'm just gonna auto this because, like, I had to open my mouth, okay? I just had to. Where are the Germans? Like, they're not really threatening us right now. I know we have insane defense and all that, but they're not pushing into the Benelux. They're not pushing us. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm, I'm just gonna shut up now. <laughs> no! Liberia, why did you refuse? That's the one fun thing we can do as this Poland. I don't really care about Liberia, for being honest. This is much better. I guess I'm gonna send you on this border and you lot on this border. That should be enough to defend. And so far, we are holding. We're not trading insanely well, but that's also just due to the lack of industry we had at the beginning of the game. Jesus. There you go, piss off. Don't scare me like this. It's just a bunch of stuff that I wouldn't mind getting, but there's nothing that's really... Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. You know, sure, let's get a few more factories. The allies are stacking up, but it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter if everyone joins the allies, but the allies are not doing anything. Oh, wait a minute. Yes, World War II has begun because Greece was guaranteed. They still joined the common turn though, but at least the allies are now in, which will take off a bit of pressure from us. Wait, Kingdom of Greece joined the allies? Did it not say that they joined the common turn earlier? We're also gonna get another 5% non-core manpower. With this, we have 7% non-core manpower oh we're in offensive war because of because the soviets declared war in finland what the fuck i didn't join that war but thanks to the offensive now everybody's getting their oh yes an arty specialist oh god france <laughs> This is gonna be a very quick World War II. Italy should be dead now. Yeah, I don't think the AI can recover from that. The Soviets have done the most damage to Italy, closely followed by us. I'll be interested to see who gets Italy. Probably France, because they're fighting there. The UK. Okay. Is it the Soviets justifying? Japan? For what? Because the Benelux joined the Comintron and not us! I guess we're gonna be at war with Japan. I am a little tempted to just auto this. Like, there's no Germans left here. But also, I know that autoing will not work. I guess instead we just do some small encirclements against the Germans. Ah, oh, come on, get across the river! Yes! Oh, time to free Poland. Let's get the final doctrine, and then we can attack. With this one, the Alta Conference. I can only fight once. Surrender progress 50%. A nation faction with all nation and nation. If I read this correctly, Germany has to have 50% surrender progress. The Soviets need to own a German core. For example, Hinterpommern. I'm gonna give Stalin Hinterpommern. There we go, we got the Yalta conference. Yes, now we just knock out Germany and the rest will be history. It's actually a relatively inexpensive World War II. The Soviets have only lost 2 million men. Is it even a world war at this point? There we go, we have the most points. And because of the Yalta conference, we have a few more German cores that are very cheap to get right now. Right, let's... Let's take the remainder of the German Navy. In 1942, World War II is over. Germany will never exist again. I can guarantee that much. Right, I'm gonna spend a little bit of time on getting this war support problem fixed. As well as, I guess, getting a navy. <laughs> what the f- What the fuck? I have never looked at this part of the focus tree because why would you ever want to capitulate? You just get 16 off-map Sith factories, 5 off-map dockyards. I'm also gonna get a bit of this stuff, just a little bit of oil. Ooh, Dutch East Indies. That's us. Wait, the Netherlands joined the Allies? You also cheated on us. Look at this. We're already at 60% compliance for Hungary and the French occupation zone. It's so busted. And welcome back, Mr. Karol. Yeah, we already have our collaboration government on the Germans. I think we're also fine in terms of rubber. So let's get a few dockyards going. Ah, oh, Communist China joined the Allies. Ugh. Japan, State of Japan, China. Okay. Federal Republic of Germany is justifying. Have you learned nothing? All right. Time for tussle number two. We actually ran out of steel. I guess we are not gonna use the heavy cruiser battery for... It's a bit expensive. <laughs> the refit cost is higher than the actual production cost. What the fuck? Germany demands Memel. Well... No. Oh, you're no longer a puppet, so you can just declare- Yes! World War II Part 2! Let's go! I think we can just take this? I'm not sure what- how these- Okay, we just 
get these permanently, I'm already gonna prepare something because if I'm gonna make use of the navy, this game is gonna take a few more hours. You can just do convoy raiding. I don't really care about the submarines. If they die, they die. If they take something out, they take something out. Very simple. But these, these are my crown jewels. They have to be protected. Uh, my AI is doing something very funky. I don't know. They might also just be outmatched. Uh, it's hard to tell with this mess. Yes, we can make a funny government. But the fighters they need cannons too. Don't want to stand a chance. There we go. I guess we're gonna try this. If that doesn't work, we're just gonna put double engines on it and then the AI can't deal with that either. Danzig? No, war with the USSR. No, please don't. Come on. Let's keep this between us. Army offense! Yes! Finally! Don't have to use the stupid ass defense anymore. I'm gonna build carriers if this goes on. Big problem is just that all of these planes that we have here are shite. And the Soviets are clocking up the air bases that I built. Even though you're not even in the war. It's so insane, like... <laughs> I don't even need to produce trains, honestly. <laughs> the allies are bombing us so much, like... If they ever appear, they are immediately getting bombed. Soviet Union declared war on communist China? Well, I guess the Soviets are in the war now. The allies have around 60k planes then. Should make the air war at least a little bit fairer then. What is the UK doing here? Well, the, the German planes are gone now. God, the new fighter battles are just insane. Like, the losses that are just being traded out. How did the Soviets lose so much already? So it's such as losing on every front. China. <laughs> of course, communist China is in the allies and China is in the common turn. I wouldn't have it any other way. I'm also gonna get all of our CAS out, put them on CAS and oh god, that's... <laughs> That's a lot of different casts that we have here. You came right on time because I wanted to push here, but I guess we're gonna push you away and also let's do convoy escort. There we go. Easy money. I'm gonna attack with these guys because our cast is up here. We might be able to get a few factories. Like if we can get Berlin, that's super well. Get it, that was incorrect grammar. I swear I'm funny, please subscribe. I'll even chuck some salad dressing. <laughs> what did you change? Oh, because of the fucking jet engines. Ugh, I hate that one. There we go. The jet engines, I don't care about. I can't even save them. I have to spend air XP so that I can uncheck the auto upgrade box. Thank you, Paradox. Fighter stockpiles are very low. Very low. But we have German industry now. Honestly, the one thing I wanted from this assault. German industry and German manpower. One of the Germanys is down. I'm also gonna, I'm just gonna attack with these guys. We have to capitalize on this. Close the pockets, close the pockets. German resistance is actually pretty high here. But you know, like the, the compliance will come in a minute. I mean, you can already see how quickly the compliance is growing. Yes, Luxembourg feels our, feels our might? I guess they have felt our might. Let's take out the Dutch. Hey France, have you heard about this thing called Blitzkrieg? I don't think you have, not in this timeline. I'm gonna be honest, if I didn't go this heavily into my navy, then this could have been done so much quicker. But I kind of wanted to explore navy a little bit today. France took quite a while to cap. Right, guys, you immediately attack before the allies can regroup in the Alps. Genuinely, you just have to be quick here. We can also try and break through here. I don't think it's gonna work. At least not without air support. No, that should be possible with 4,000 cars here. The push was expensive for our light SPAA, but... <sighs> Doesn't matter. We have 700 factories now and compliance is just gonna make it even worse. Honestly, I'm used to the civil war. It's, it's actually taking quite a while to take out Italy now. What we have to do now is set up a defense. Like Now that we own all of mainland Europe, we have to do it. I'm not gonna get navally invaded in this game and lose my brain cells. The Saints, yes, I'm not gonna lose my brain cells because they all had a case in point. I have already lost them. Can't lose anything that was never there. <laughs> Got him. There we go. The Dutch are gone. Gone again. And you can immediately go over to France. That's actually a chunk of division. So I'm gonna do this. And here we're gonna go to Newcastle. Spanish Morocco? Why do I own France? <laughs> France? 
French North Africa, I'm sorry. All right, we have retaken this stupid island. Algiers has been developed quite a bit. There we go, they're going in. We're losing right now, but I can fix this, I can fix this, I can fix this. Shit, I don't have an airbase here. Finland, do you have- Oh, yes, Finland has. There we go. Let's put a bit of Cass in here. And I'm also gonna do a cheat attack. But honestly, the Cass is the one thing that's gonna help here. Stupid allies. I will say, I have 1100 factories, but my production queue is getting a little bit insane. It's the fact that I can't mass produce- What's that, What are they called? Um, Boats? Ships? Okay, how do we only have 50% of the war score? We took them out of Europe on our own. It's amazing how I have 100% compliance, but still 30% resistance in the Netherlands. 100% compliance and 40% resistance. Sure, makes perfect sense. Ah, hi. Can I come in? Yeah, of course you can come in. Here, have a drink. Let's get our navy stackled up. Let's get our navy to Wilhelmshaven. And then let's have fun. That was a quick battle. And we lost only calf naval bombers. Oh my god. It's almost as good as green bubble. But uh, this just took way too long and definitely wasn't worth it. Right now, the navy is just a very expensive fighter. Oh, but it's, it's a very effective fighter, if we're being honest. Okay, you know what? Uh, enough. Enough fun. Let's just end it. I'm gonna do a Japanese strat here because it's already 1950. Oh, the UK kept quickly. Bit surprised, innit? Iceland and Greenland were never annexed by the US. Huh. In that case, Denmark? I guess I'm sorry. 155 days. Alright, I guess we're gonna wait a little bit. We are low on war support, so we can't go to all adult serve. We could declare war on Denmark and let them conquer a bit of Poland. And so we have surrender progress. Wait, why are we still in a defense? Oh. Because you declared war on communist China, I'm in a defensive war again. Stalin, I'm gonna shoot you at some point. Ooh, that's, that's war support. Yes. A year! It's gonna take a year to repair this ship. Just sink it. It's an early cruiser hull. Yay! Actually a considerable defense that you have here. Come on, don't let me down. This game needs to end. I swear to god if you pin- ah! That's what I get for brushing my teeth. That's why you don't do hygiene kits. Okay, yeah. The compliance growth is insane. That's why you don't build a navy. I mean, just look at this. Sure, we lost 450 naval bombers, but we took out the pride of the fleet. This was just a fraction of the cost of the navy. I don't have to bullshit repair the navy. I mean, the naval bomb... Yes, the naval bombers, because they're just dead. Oh, they don't have org. Because I railroaded them. I hate that I'm my own biggest enemy every single time. Yes, we've taken Greenland. I'm so happy right now. How is Asia looking, by the way? Nothing has changed. Legitimately, nothing has changed. I think this has happened, but that's it. It's gonna take a while until we make a dent in the planes, but we are taking out the American Navy at least. We have 43% war score. That's bullshit. The Soviets have lost 20 million men, but they also haven't done jack shit. They have done around the same damage as I have done for most of these people. I just love all those pop-ups, man. Okay, we also need, since we just landed, we are gonna need about 10,000 fighters. And super important, you just expand now. Why is nobody, why are you not doing this? Yeah, I don't think this plane is gonna be very efficient here. Right, we have China. I could have just asked China the entire time for garrison support. Oh, late game America, my favorite. There we go. We will blockade Venezuela. I don't think that really does anything, considering, you know, the US has all the oil in the world. We already have 80% compliance in Canada. Another airbase. Great. I have the airbase, but I can't build anymore. My favorite. Can we build it now? Of course not. Hey, my friend. If you feel like you can conquer me with your 24 million dead Soviets, then be my guest. You also can't even kick me because we're in the same faction. The Russian ships are doing as well as ever do. Yeah, it's, it's late. I can't even make stupid jokes anymore. Now we have five air bases. The only thing that's holding the Americans afloat right now is uh, this plane number. But uh, it's gonna get decimated in a minute. 10,000 CAS. And let the CAS auto. And if the Americans want to take out my CAS, then so be it. We have more than enough in stockpile. 
Come on, I can't be awesome anymore. Honestly, apart from the America offensive, this all just went very swimmingly. And for as chill as the World War II Part 1 was, I don't think we can say the same about World War II Part 2. This was all kicked off because Germany wanted Memel. No, it, it was the Sudetenland, right? I don't even fucking remember anymore. Right, I'm gonna train these guys. It's actually kind of stupid to do this on the front line, but if they die, I'm just gonna send them to Detroit. It is getting late. And if it's a late game in Hearts of Iron 4, there's only one way we will end this with this zirzin okay america please just don't make this harder on your people than it already is why was there only one nuke it looks like the rest was nuked there was just an animation for only one of them yeah the rest was nuked as well it's just only one animation popped up what i do now is not optimal but this makes for the better map and we get to keep all of the land that we conquered like uh, we just lost so much <laughs> just look at our factories drop down and our resources and ah uh, you shouldn't ever create collaboration governments i mean yes there are reasons to do it it's just not worth it in 95 percent of the cases like if you're legitimately out of manpower then sure it's a better puppet but like Apart from this one case, you just shoot yourself in the foot. If India is a major, I don't give a shit. Like, legitimately. India is a major. Okay, there we go. North American Socialist Republic. Uh, occupation paint Raj. And there we go. For some reason, the US still exists in Alabama, Georgia. Sorry. Sorry, Georgia. Didn't mean that. We have pretty much no points. I will just take India for the manpower. And the Dank Spice. And if you like Dank Spice, you should watch this video where I played as the greatest US and we got rid of the Great Depression by 1936.